So welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk about Microtech Half-Lite um, with um, for configuring a Wi-Fi internet. So what I did was that um, I did an extension of that uh, this Microtech Half-Lite to an ubiquity air cube. So using the the microtech uh, PoE out via the hair cube PoE in. So um, I was able to achieve that. So there are two methods which I used. So I want to actually discuss it in my in this tutorial so that uh, it can be of help to somebody out there. Okay. Is the a little design I did on the on the on the um on the Microsoft Visual just to actually explain what I have done. Just to explain to see how the, the the design looks like so I can actually understand what I'm explaining. Here is just the uh the location where I use it for them. Um, as you can see the, the red indicates that the port 5 is actually powering the head cube and um, the, the the cable has a PoE that powers the outdoor device and the cable that is coming from the line of the PoE hits the port 1 which is the one of the router and the port 5 actually goes to the uh, but one of the hair key which is my camera character capture that much what is the two four boot in terms of POE in that cable actually power the device. So let's actually look at uh, the design and how I uh, actually did a, a little design so that if the video does not actually explain so much for you, you can have a uh, a feel or a pictographic of actually what I'm trying to explain to you in that video. So I just uh, have a view, a uh, simple design here just to see. So the, the outdoor device is the nano station, nano station 5AC outdoor device for ubiquity and um, the, the cable coming in, as you have seen in that video, goes to the to the PoE, a 24 volt PoE adapter, and the cable is a, the LAN cable moves from the PoE, um, the LAN port of the PoE, and it goes to the port five of the Microtech Hub router, which has uh, the enablement to actually power an undervolt. And this is to know that every microtech device has a capacity to to supply up to 30 volts out. But when a voltage machine that actually distributes the current based on the requirement of the device they want to actually supply that current to. So um the 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 port the port five does that uh it actually has a capacity to enable it from five ten fifteen twenty but in this my own case i'm actually the hair key actually require to the four boosts to power it is at the back you see to the four boot in so that is what i have done so you can see that is what i'm trying to establish here making a connection from the land that goes to to the um to the, the land goes to to the port one as you can see and i'll have another connection that will move from the first port on the poe the first port on the hair queue which is to four root in but to be connected to the microtic which is um, 24 volts out 
in the layer and on any microtech applied search you can actually see what i'm actually talking about check bubble so we need to go in now and see how it's being configured step by step the two method i have let's go inside the router see you there Let's move into the Microtech router. So as you can see here now, we have the one, which is, as you can see, the IP, and we we have the, the LAN, which is one of the two, once it's a 200 network. Uh, if you come down, we look at the IP pool, there you can see what we have as some um, IP start from three, okay, and ends as dot 13. So that we can have an IP for us to configure our hair cube. Okay. And um, here you can actually see all the configuration we have here. Okay. Um, what I'm trying to show here is that um, I'm trying to show the port 5 what it can actually do um that it is poe enable it has um there you can see that it's poe enable and it said that uh, it is automatic when it sees any device it automatically detects such device and it can actually um configure enable that poe with the required with the station that control that the amount of uh power that such device such device will actually require okay so that's it here is just the uh the initial dsv server that is actually running you can see that the ip is is not including dot two here is the dsv server that will run that's the network ip uh, running on those trends the third doctor is dot 200 and uh and all of that here is the ip pool and uh, 
um, I'm just showing you this so that uh, you can actually see that the IP also start from 3 here. This is another way to actually check your IP address and see that uh, all is fine. The other thing I want to show to you is the firewall. You can see that we have the NAT is enabled. We have the source address and we have the out, interface, out address. So here now, coming to the ubiquity, we we have our dashboard. Well, what we need to do is network IP. You can see that uh, we say if you want the third octet here is eight, which is a different IP from from the microte router. But if you look at your right hand side, we have um, a static IP where the reserved IP, which is dot two has been used as the one IP so that it can pick internet from that AQ, from that microtech router and actually um, give us internet service. So that's what I'm trying to achieve. And the password is there, as you can see. So you can see that after the configuration, there's internet. So we can do a ping test now on the on my LAN, we should be able to reach the Google DNS, which actually shows that uh, we we are we are good to go. So it's the configuration is simple and easy to actually understand. But this is just the one stage of the configuration I want to show. We still have um uh, another method. If you don't want to use the this um I this block of 200 IP, which is the LAN, we can as well create a separate line and dedicate that port file to it, and it will also work. So let's check that out. Have label private bridge, okay? Um, after saying that the port five we want to use that has the PoE enable, okay? We we had the interface to the private bridge we have created so that is the interface and that is on the private bridge which is the new bridge we newly created okay and we can see that the rest of the ports are on bridge one which is the default bridge that's having a wireless uh, port two three four are on that false bridge okay so that is that so the other of us created this second bridge is for us to actually separate that port 5 from the rest of the uh initial bridge that we want to use for our land so that this guy can actually push your own person his own traffic and we can actually monitor the traffic is running so here now we 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 are uh, the reason why that is saying that is because we cannot run you cannot edit an active dcp server running that is what you keep getting so let me actually quickly note that so um the next thing i'm going to do here now is for us to actually um check how we created a firewall so since our uh our new ip is one as well to say it does zero it's the dot it's network so we need to create our NAT which is the source address as you can see one and two one is eight dot one slash twenty four and that is actually configured to be on the private bridge and uh, we ask that uh, whatever we are doing on that LAN it should the, the router should translate it to to the uh, to the VLAN we have created and we say we should actually mask it. That's what I mean by translate. Okay. So I think if we done that, we should be able to actually ping um, and also connect to the internet with that little effort. So thank you. So the summary is just that you create a new bridge, you had that interface to the um, to the new that port five to the new bridge you have created you run i didn't run a dcp server here but as i showed you to it has been run you run a dcp server to the second bridge which is the bridge two which is the private bridge rather then 
you you create a NAT, which I've shown us. You can create a new NAT and push your your new I, LAN IP address and the out interface is the VLAN interface that was actually created. So with that, so with that you can you'll be able to actually browse. So how will you implement it? on the micro or on the ubiquity hair cube so for you the, 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 the to be able to actually implement that on the ubiquity devices the judge pick one of the ip from the pool of jcb server you have created with the dot eight network either those you can use the last ip or two or dot three to create uh, a static uh, configuration on the network section of the air cube and you are good to go it will actually browse just as the initial one was able to give us something reasonable if you have any question just let me know i'm ready to give you all necessary support thank you